Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys a new Loli Veffy collaboration kit. So every month we are trying to do new kits, new sales, new specials with you guys. So Loli Veffy and I have teamed up and this month we are doing a blob, or I don't wanna call it blob, I always call it blob, but I'm going to call it the puddle pour. I don't know. I always forget what I call it, but I really hate calling it a blob. But anywho, um, let me show you guys what is in the kit. So we shall start off with a um, two cup measuring cup. So you can get this measuring cup. It's for two cups. And this will be good if you want to mix your paint your Mod Podge and your water and then with the funnel or the thing spout pour it into your bottles. So you get a two cup uh, measuring cup. You will get one jumbo silicone mat. All right. You get your jumbo silicone mat here. Okay. You will get a stirring stick to mix all your, you know, paint, Mod Podge, all that together. Okay, you get a stick. You shall get a Loli Veffy scraper. Always comes in handy. I have so many of these and I use them often. Maybe not to scrape paintings, but I use it for a lot of stuff. Uh, then you get... Um, these are the um, Monster bottles. Okay, so they hold uh, 500 mils. Okay. So you get four of these, so four packs, okay? Which means you get eight bottles. Eight bottles of these monstrous guys, which is gonna be great to fill up with your, I'll call it blob, blob painting, okay? Um, paints, I mean, and so you get four sets of these. So a total of eight bottles, eight bottles. And then you will get two, of these, which are 12 inch wood rounds, okay, which will be great for blobbing on or puddle pouring or whatever you want to call it. Um, these will be great for that. So obviously I would prime it first with gesso and stuff like that, or even do uh, like what I do, a nice shiny coat of resin uh, and then blob on it. I've never blobbed on a round. I've blobbed on the squares and rectangles. Um, but I've never blobbed on a round, so I'm going to try that. Not in this video, but um, I will try that. So you get two of them. So you get one and two, and you get this cute little packet of your little stir sticks here for pigments and whatever, whatnot. So that is what you get in this month's kit. Let me put this back really quickly. All right, so you get the two boards. You get four packs of the monster bottles. All right, you get four packs of that. You get the little spoons. You will get a scraper. You will get the stir stick, reusable stir stick. You will get a two cup measuring cup and you will get the jumbo silicone mat. All right, so that is what comes in the kit. The kit originally costs $115. It is on sale for 30% off at the price of $80. Okay, so you get it for 80 bucks on sale. But of course, you can save an extra 10% off using code Canela10. All right, so it'll be cheaper. All right, so I am going to put this aside and I'm going to show you real quick what today's piece is going to be all about all right so today i am working on this piece it is a commission for a client i had a little dust on there but yes it is um a commission for a client you can see the reflection and all that but um i'm gonna get myself set up and we are going to get started on a puddle blob painting on this piece so i will be right back all right, everybody, let's get started on today's piece. So what I have here is a 14 by 14 inch wood board, okay? And what I had done to it is I taped the sides 
And then I mixed up some resin and I did a black base of resin. So what I did is I tinted my resin with black pigment paste. And then I mixed my TLP piggies um, using the same type of color that my client has chosen for this piece. And I basically just mixed some TLP pigment into my resin. And then I just did little with my popsicle stick, put lines of every color. Then I used my heat gun and I blew it around and it made this. I will do a tutorial on how to do something like this in the future. I just haven't had the time. So I've got the base done, okay? And I'm going to tell you the colors that my client um, would like to use for this painting. Um, we are using Ultramarine Violet Light by Amsterdam. Then I have per uh, Permanent Magenta by Windsor & Newton. And then I have Azo Yellow D Azo Yellow Medium by Amsterdam. Then I have Naples Yellow Red by Amsterdam. And finally, I have Vermilion by Amsterdam. Now, um, so I used my lowly vefu bottles to fill up with my um blob concoction. Um, these two bottles, I already had these colors mixed up from a prior um, project I'm working on. So that's why they're not in the Loli Vefi bottles. So yeah, um, let's get started here. So I'm going to do my first layer here. Um, let's see. Oops, something was on that paper towel. All right, let's start with up here in the corner. And so, like I mentioned, if you want to see more detailed tutorial on how I do this, how I get this blob painting or paint mixed up, it's, you know, um, paint with Mod Podge and um, gloss varnish. So you can check out my tutorial on that. I will link it up here at the top. I don't remember what video number it is, but I'll link it there and then you can check it out. And then what I do is I take, I, I don't know where I even got these from. They came with something I bought, but they're super sharp. And what I use them for is to pop the bubbles. Now, you know, Lee from Massey Art Studios um, torches his blob paint um, for the bubbles. And I've done that and my personal preference is I don't like it because I find that when you torch it, um, it leaves like a skin of film over the paint and because because it kind of like burns it right or dries it up or whatnot. And I don't like that it leaves like a skin over it. So there's the first blob. And now let's do uh, permanent magenta. And I don't know, I'm gonna put it here, I guess. The first round is always hard because you just kind of don't know where to go and you know how big to make the blob and all of that. But just kind of wing it. There's no right or wrong, right? So I don't know, like that. And then I always clean the tip, put the lid back on. Put it back in the cup upside down because um, it's just easier that way when the paint is at the bottom and so um and i found that um i i like to pop the bubbles after i do each blob because if i sat and did the whole piece um believe it or not this stuff tends to dry kind of quick and um when you go to pop the bubbles after like 10 minutes um, it actually has kind of dried and you have like a film on them, on the, on the paint. So it's just kind of easier and better if you just pop all the bubbles. And then I just kind of do this so it, you know, doesn't leave that dent in the paint. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of bubbles here.
All right, so next color, oh, let's go with yellow. Yellow? Yellow. Yeah, let's do yellow. All right, I've never used the Loli Veffy bottles, so let's see how these work out. Nice, very good. Nice flow coming out of the bottle. Now I mixed these last night and there's still a ton of air bubbles in them. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of air bubbles in it for sure. So I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'll continue with my other colors. All right, so let's do the Naples yellow red over here. There are a ton of bubbles in this. Okay. And let's do vermilion. Oh, I just call it orange because that's what it looks like to me is orange. She's dripping everywhere though. I gotta be careful I don't drip anywhere on the board. Let's do it here, bottom corner. Nice and slow, and you notice I'm keeping the tip in the blob. All right, there we go. Okay, looking good so far. So I think I'm gonna put purple down here again. Now keep in mind, when these paints dry, they will dry darker, okay? So just keep that in mind when you're, because I did a piece and I used um, dark purple, like a really, really dark purple, and um, it dried and it looked almost black. So keep that in mind with your colors. Um, they will dry darker, okay? All right, where do I go next? Um, maybe a little magenta here and a little yellow there. I really love the magenta. It's a pretty color and it will dry darker though. It will definitely dry darker. I'm not gonna do as big of a bubble here or blob or puddle or whatever. All right, so there we go there. And I really like the yellow. So I'm gonna do a small yellow here and then that'll be it for the first round. There, I kind of wanted to go bigger but I went too far over here and if I keep going, it's gonna go over the edge so that's no good. So I have to stop it there. Um, you can continue to like put more in all these little spaces, but I kind of don't want to do that because it's going to cover up the beautiful background design. Um, if it was just a plain black or a plain white base, um, I would definitely put more smaller. Maybe I could put one in here. No, I don't want to put one in there. Maybe I could do a little orange one in there. No, I'm not. No, 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 don't do it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop all the bubbles here. Um, and then I will be back for round two. So this is gonna dry for about 48 hours and I will come back and I will do the next round. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody ready for round two. So here it is here. It's almost dry. It's still a little soft. This one's kind of hard. The orange is hard, but the rest are feeling pretty good. Um, and I've got you guys on a different angle, so you kind of have a uh, different view for the second round. Third round, I'll probably put it back to the way it was. Um, I'll do a few colors. Actually, I'll just do it all right now. So let's see. Um, all right, I don't know what color to start with. Let's do, uh, let's go with the orange. All right, guess I need a paper towel though. 
All right, so you want to be careful not to put too much because it might just flatten out so much it's going to cover um, the other blob on the bottom. So keep that in mind because I have done that before many a times. So it's probably best to put less than too much because I don't know, you just don't want it going over and covering the initial blob, right? All right, so I think I'm going to put, how many colors do I got? Five. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what, I'll, I'll hold off before I do another one. Let me work with all the colors first and then we'll figure it out. Um, okay, I think I'm going to do this on the purple. Okay, nice and slow. I'm keeping the tip inside the bu bubble or puddle or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that takes care of that one. There's a lot of air bubbles in here. My goodness. All right, let's do yellow. And I really think yellow is going to look really pretty on purple. So I'm going to do that on here. All right, nice and slow. Again, keeping the tip inside the blob. All right, I think that's good. All right, let's go with the magenta. And I think because I have two magentas right here, I think I'll bring it down here. So I'll put it on top of the orange. All right. Again, not too much. It will flatten out and you don't want it. It's so hard to tell when to stop. I don't know if I should add a little bit more to this one. Maybe just a bit. I hope that wasn't a bad idea. We'll find out soon enough. All right. Now, purple. So I've got two purples here. I could put purple over the magenta. That would look pretty, actually. Hmm. Then I've got... Oh, this one's tough. Let's see, let's see. I may speed you guys up part of this because I have to think a lot. All right, all right, I'm just, that's it. I'm going to um, pop all the bubbles and I'll show you guys what it looks like from the top view. All right, everybody. So here is the final piece. I have it here on the floor because then if I put it on the wall, then you get the reflection from all the windows down here and then you just don't get to see the piece. But here it is completed, finished. Um, I showed it to my client and she was extremely happy with it. Now, some of you might think there's a lot of negative space like here, here and here, but that's the whole point because my client wants to see the beautiful background. So if I had covered it with too many blobs, then you wouldn't be able to see the pretty background. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial. Um, and don't forget to head on over to Loli Vefi to get your blob kit um, on sale. 
And don't forget, you can save the extra 10% off using code CANELA10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. Um, while you guys are watching this, I'm actually in North Carolina with Tammy Anderson. So I will be back soon and um, back to new videos when we get back. So anywho, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed all this. All the information for the Loli Vefi sale and other information is in the description below. All right. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.